Hey there, Skeptical Root. A friend of mine and I had a conversation at work last week, I want to say, about systemic racism. I don't remember how we got on the subject. It came up. She threw some things at me. I threw some things back. I pointed out the things that she mentioned were anecdotal and not necessarily evidential of systems of oppression. Systemic, having a root of system, would mean there has to be a system in place and there are no longer directly systems in place that are racist in the United States. There are probably systems that have uh, been in place that still are effective in modern society and we should work towards clearing those up. Uh, it might have come from a conversation. I don't think it was, but I know at one point I brought up uh, the Flint, um, I should say the Michigan Water, Michigan State Water Conservancy, I think it's who it was, uh, report on the Flint water crisis. Part of their conclusion, which wasn't based on anything that I could find in the report that I read, uh, that the water crisis was due to racism. And I try to point out in the conversation we were having that classist, more likely than racist, uh, their evidence that it was racist, according to their conclusions in the report, was that more poor people were affected. No, that. Yes, more poor people were affected by it, uh, and the poor people are more heavily minority groups than they are the wealthy groups. Which none of the water problems in Flint had to, anything to do with the wealthier communities. And I just pointed out in the conversation and in my head when I read the story, that's classist. That's not racist. Just because. Race, minor, racial minorities are overrepresented in poor populations per capita to white people and to Asians that you can't necessarily say that that is racist but it is clearly a division on class where the rich people weren't affected by the water crisis and the poor people were it all goes back to in-group out-group thing and I'm, I'm the, the more I talk about this kind of stuff and think about this stuff the more it's all boils down to in-group, out-group thinking. Uh, and that understanding that I think is, is a goes a long way to combating it uh, or being aware of, of biases that may occur. I am going to do a video about bias again. I think I did one a while ago. I've got 50 some videos on my channel. None of them are scripted. Two of them are scripted, I think, so far. I'm working on the script for a third one, which is going to be about victimization, and it's springing from this conversation that I had. But part of the conversation that we had was that uh, my friend said that I need to read this book. Get that in frame. See that there? That is Howard Zinn, A People's History of the United States. Uh, this is the latest edition. I remember when it's copyright. I, when I agree, I said, you know what? I'll go buy the book. I, I'm, I'm a book person. I will read the book. Uh, what's the title page here? Uh, this version is copyright. Who knows? Um, da, 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 2003 was the last... Uh, edition printing, other this one is copyright 2015. <clears throat> it includes uh, a prologue and an epilogue, and the epilogue is uh, conversations with Howard Zinn before he died in 2010, uh, and an afterward, and it's 700, I think it's 600 and, let's see here, 685, so 688 pages before the bibliography. It's going to be a big read, but I'm a book guy. I'll sit down and read it, and I I, I collect books. I, I Every book that I 
have read that I've been able to retain, I have kept, I have two five-tier bookshelves, five-shelf bookshelves that typically are full of books. Most of the ones that I have read, oops, that may sound horrible, but uh, so I got the book. I'll read it. It's not going to change my mind uh, from reading reviews of it and things like that. It's clearly a, a far left-leaning book. I fall on the left part of the political spectrum, clearly on the left side. Uh, but I also know propaganda when I read it. Uh, I, I can... I can see when... Especially when I know something about the subject, and I happen to know a little bit about American history, uh, I, I will see where he's left things out. And that's, you know, I, I started reading through a little bit of it. And I have not gotten into it too far. But it's it's going to leave things out. It's going to emphasize negative things. Because the book, I mean, Howard Zinn believed that, that colonialism was the ultimate oppressor and white people are the problem, essentially. And European powers need to blah, 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 insert social justice warrior language, the end. Uh, Arkansas had some of their Republican senators, congressmen, I don't remember which it was, governor maybe had posted, had suggested passing a bill that would ban the works of Howard Zinn from school classrooms as it was a little too left for them. Arkansas being a, a more conservative state doesn't surprise me. Uh, but oddly enough, no other state had made that, had decided to follow along with that. And I don't believe it had passed, but that was just actually this year. Um, so we'll read it. We'll find out all what he has to say. But like I said, I don't expect my mind to be changed by it. I'll be really surprised if anything is changed. Uh, I am going to read this book more critically than any book I have ever written ever written, <laughs> ever read in my entire life. Uh, mostly because I, I'm, I'm expecting to be, I'm expecting it to be propaganda to some extent. And I'm fine with that. I can handle propaganda. Uh, I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time. So I'm, I'm going to be critical of it and I'm going to review it and I'm going, I'll actually do a video review of it at some point, but uh, broad strokes, if anything. I'm also going to do a video in the near future, my current plan, uh, a scripted video on victimization and victim culture and how I think that it's what I think of it and basically how it feeds on itself and how the real problem with victimiza victimization and victim culture is that there's no way out of it. When you change your social economy over to a victim victim culture nobody wins even if you get some reward for being more of a victim you can't ever get out of that there's no climbing out of that that rut of you know i'm oppressed i'm a victim i've been wronged somehow because the only way you have any kind of collateral in that society is to be more of a victim and so you it's a race to the bottom that certainly does not foster exceptionalism in any way. And societies do need some exceptionalism at the very least in order to progress. You actually need a moderate amount to progress. You need some in order to, to stay afloat, if you will. Uh, that's something I'm working on. I haven't had a lot of time to sit down with it, but I started it and I started it based on a conversation that I had that got me to buy this book. So I'm throwing that out there. Uh, and <laughs> related to both of these things, uh, I, another video will be coming maybe my next video. If I get around to it, uh, and I don't have just some kind of throwaway thing is a uh, one on bias and good God, I'm going to, punch the next fucker in the face that tries to use bias as an excuse for anything. 
long and short of the longer conversation that's coming, not everything is, not everybody is biased about everything. And having a bias does not necessarily mean you are wrong. I do some of this microphone. I keep bumping it. So that's the long, that's, that's, that's the Cliff Notes version uh, with a lot more details, explanation, and exposition coming in the future. But for now, next project, or one of my next projects, over the next couple of months, I'll be chewing through Howard's in A People's History of the United States. <sighs> Hopefully I'll get it done before summer. I can report back and tell you what I think. Uh, I may do some mini videos along the way. I could do a whole series of, of things on this book in particular. Uh, come to think of it. There's a lot of chapters. Maybe I could do a review per chapter. Eh, that might give me some more content. That's what I need. More content, damn it. Uh, another topic I'm going to address in another video. Uh, the nature of ideas and how ideas I have, I have convinced myself of or have found enough convincing arguments that ideas are actually biological. They are not just things that happen in brains, but they function very much like living entities and they require certain environments to grow. And I'll expound on that in either the victimization video uh, or on a separate video, but that and bias have both sprung from this other victimization project that I will be working on. And sorry for that edit there. Uh, I accidentally <laughs> clicked the stop recording button uh, when I rested my hand on the mouse. But be that as it may, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, catch you in the next video. Oh, and I, I'll point out here before I give my closing tagline. Uh, there's probably going to be a little changing character to my channel. Not a lot. Uh, I intend to be a little more animated because of something that I've discovered in my whole ideas. Ideas are biological construct. So be that as it may little bit more of it in this video, but I'm going to try to be a little more animated because of good reasons that you'll learn about in another video. Uh, I may also, uh, I'm toying with the idea of disappearing behind an avatar, doing an intro outro with the face thing, and then doing some kind of talking avatar. I, I, I can't do animation yet. I have not sat down and tried to do any animation with it. But taking my logo guy, the little blue-eyed pirate android guy with the goatee. Let's see, that's where that came from. Da, 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 da. Um, animating something with that possibly is a talking head kind of thing. Uh, I'll uh, insert any other person that does YouTube videos. And uh, going with that, but I mean, I'm not... I don't, I'm not hiding behind something like that because I still will probably end up being in, in the material somewhere, but maybe I'll go away altogether. I don't know. This is easy though. This is, requires a whole lot less editing and stuff to do. And I frankly don't have time to do a whole lot of crap with this stuff. So who knows? Maybe just being more animated will be a little more interesting, but I don't know. Uh, I sit down and I look at all the people that I watch and they're 80 20 in avatar versus talking head maybe a little heavier avatar maybe a lot heavier avatar uh but like messianic manic end of all of his videos he's there does a little thing a hey, visit him on patreon whatever he's still there but you know his the rest of it is behind text walls and and clips and things like that uh, he did a while where he had, it doesn't matter. Anyway, goodbye and hello, as always. It doesn't.
Listen, 